Hey, how are you? I got my BDS 3-inch uh, lift on my Jeep JK uh, and got a chance to drive it a little bit so I can give a review of it. Also got new tires and wheels and uh, let's bring the camera closer and I'll show you. Okay, before you actually see it with the lift, this is uh, my 2011 JK completely stock as I bought it. It's on 18 inch wheels with uh, 255 70s, 18s, and uh, nothing was touched. It's as it's from the factory. Now let's take a look at it with the lift. Okay, there's a side view. That's uh, my Jeep JK, it's a 2011. I got a BDS three inch lift installed and some other parts, and I'll explain all of them. I've had a chance to drive it for a little bit, and I will say it, uh, <laughs> the guys at OK Four Wheel Drive in uh, Stewartsville, New Jersey, did a fantastic job. It drives better than when I bought it. Definitely better than stock. It's a spare tire. If you guys remember, I put the Smitty built spare tire holder on it. That thing is solid. That thing is great. I'll show you the other side. And to be honest with you, the camera just doesn't do it justice uh, of how high it actually looks. Um, let's go underneath. I'll show you the back first. All right. So the rear track, uh, the rear track bar. It comes with a uh, rear track bar drop bracket to realign that. Uh, obviously uh, new coil springs in the back and I went with the Fox 2.0 performance shocks and I'm glad I did. They are fantastic. They drive unbelievable. It was definitely worth the extra money. Um, I also got AEV geometry correction brackets. Now you can get away with not getting them. Let's see if I can get under here. There they are. That's the uh, that's the geometry correction brackets from AEV. You can get away without using them with a three-inch lift. You know, you're right at the borderline. But uh, I didn't want to skimp anything. I wanted it to drive as good as factory as I could get. And I'll show you the front. What I did with the front. There's the Fox shocks. Again, those are the 2.0 uh, performance shocks. And of course, springs, the BDS springs. I also went with the uh, BDS sway bar disconnects. And I went with the BDS top of the line uh, steering stabilizer. And if you can see these, if you could see these, uh, new tie rod ends. I had both the tie rod ends and the uh, bars replaced. And they are made by Moog and they're super thick. And I also went with, I don't know if you could see it up there, I went with a JKS adjustable track bar in the front. See what I can get from the other side. So there's a steering stabilizer. That's the new Moog tie rod ends. And I don't know if I can get in there. That's the JKS uh, adjustable track bar. And I will say, this thing drives fantastic. I mean, it really does drive better than when I bought it. And the stock. I went with the Pro Comp 2640 wheels. They're uh, five on five, they're four and three quarters inch back spacing. And I went with the uh, BFG KO2s. They drive fantastic on the street, super quiet. 
and I went with the uh, 34 by 1050s. Okay, and there is how it looks. Again, it drives great. I have no complaints. Guys did a fantastic job. Very solid. And uh, I can honestly say the camera just doesn't do it justice. But I'm happy with it. And uh, I've, I've put about a couple hundred miles on it. I haven't been wheeling with it yet. Uh, but I don't anticipate any problems. I went with the BDS. It's kind of middle of the road in price compared to the AEV and Terraflex. Uh, but they have a no fine print warranty. You break it, they replace it for the life of uh, the Jeep. So you can't beat that. Okay, uh, the only other thing I'm gonna do, I wanna get a uh, aftermarket front bumper and I wanna use this as a towed vehicle for my RV. And so far the only aftermarket bumper that's good for connecting the toad is a uh, rock hard. So anybody knows any other ones, hit me up in the comments, let me know. Uh, I've checked everything and rock hard seems to be the only one that comes with uh, clips for any of the uh, tow bars. Okay, thanks for watching.